Last time on Total Drama Island, the campers got sent out on safari. They made like they were zookeepers. Although, some of them might want to look at other careers. And Heather and Duncan formed an alliance, which helped a little, although everyone else helped by stinking. This week, our six remaining campers will get way too close for comfort. Will Heather and Duncan's alliance survive another challenge? Will Heather avoid the vote of losers yet again? And who will be voted off this week in the most dramatic campfire ceremony yet? Find out tonight on Total Drama Island. The moment that I'm doing fine, you guys are on my mind. Ask me what I wanted to be And now I think the answer is plain to see I wanna be famous I wanna live close to the sun Or pack your bags cause I've already won Everything to prove, nothing in my way I'll get there one day campers remain. And after six weeks of bugs, yucky camp food, and even grosser bathrooms, our six finalists are about this close to losing it. We strove to come up with the best way to help the campers de-stress, then decided it would be way more fun to handcuff them together and see if we couldn't push them over the edge. Did Duncan's parole officer send a care package? Nah. All in the name of today's challenge, the Tri-Armed Triathlon. Tri-Armed? Like three arms? Yes. Three challenges, three teams of two, three arms per team. Have you met these people? I am not being chained to any of them. Winning team members both get invincibility from tonight's vote. Six long weeks. I don't know how much more of this I can take. The person who's creasing me the most? Jeff, the guy is in a permanently good mood. No one is always in a good mood. And if he says, dude, or cool, or eats with his mouth open one more time, I think I'm gonna seriously damage him. The camp is great and all, and I'm, I'm seriously stoked to be here. Yeah, I miss my buds back home. Yo, if you're watching, this is a shout out to all my bros back east, man. It's not that I don't like everyone who's left. They're just kind of downers. Except Owen. <laughs> that dude can party. LaShawn is cool, but Gwen and Duncan are like so serious. And Heather is freaking me out with all her strategy talk. I thought getting to the final six would be like a big party, but 
It's kind of heavy, man. This place is torture, man. At least in Juvie, we had a half hour of television a day, and they kept the lunatics locked up separately. I mean, this outhouse, this is the only place I can go for peace and quiet. Oh, and you do not want to come in here after Owen. Oh, I... And I don't know what Courtney said to Lashana, but all of a sudden, she thinks I'm a nice guy or something, and she wants to be my friend. I don't have friends. Got that? Yo, this is a shout-out to all my sisters back home. What's up, y'all? Girl, you would not believe the crazies they got up in here. But I came to win, and I'm hanging on, baby. Only five more campus to go. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Final six! Place at the table! Woohoo! Keep it down! It's pretty awesome to be here. I'm so psyched, dude. Woohoo! First of our three challenges, competitive chow down. Oh, come on. This is like a dream I had once. The donut copter dream? You've had it too? Each team will choose a feeder and an eater. Eaters must put their hands behind them, making it even more difficult for the feeders. One last thing. This is the wimp key, a skeleton key that will open any handcuffs. You'll be offered the wimp key at each challenge to unshock for yourselves from your teammate. But if you choose to accept it, you'll both be eliminated. Hello, how do we win this thing? Chef's getting platters for each team. Title goes to the team who finishes their platter of delicacies fastest. I'll do the chowing down. I don't think so, scrawny chicken leg boy. Arm wrestle for it, then. You on, fool. We don't need to fight or anything, eh? We're a team, babe. <laughs> you be the eater, then. Cool. No, wait. I'll be the eater. Cool. Wait. Delicious. I don't think chicken is green in nature. Mm, maybe it's lemon lime chicken. <laughs> gotcha. You can be the eater. Cool. Ugh. Ah! Can we go a little slower? One, two, three, open. Oh. You gotta try this quiche. Open. Go faster. They won't count it if we drop it. Oh, our photo. Oh, cheesecake's delish. I am not here to try the food. This is a contest. I am done with this spoon feeding. Let's work with your strengths. The winners are Heather and Owen. All right, Owen, way to go. You are one champion eater. What a team. Uh, thanks. Heather was really nice to me when I won the eating contest. I didn't really understand that. So to all of the campers who have already left the island, I just want to say, first of all, that I personally prefer to call you Winner Challenged. Secondly, I know that some of you may have thought that the strategy I used on the island was a little harsh, but I was only playing the game the best way I knew how. It was never personal. I admire each and every one of you, and I hope that you'll consider that when you think about who really deserves to win. Thanks! What a team! Speaking of teamwork, how are you with toilet paper? <laughs> Owen is revolting. If I make it out of this garbage heap alive, I will issue a restraining order on his oversized butt. No offense. None taken. Last chance for the tempting wimp key before part two. Dare you. Look, since you and I aren't really seeing eye to eye on this challenge, maybe we should... Zip it and focus, Owen. You're not getting out that easy. It was worth a try. Heather scares me. What's the challenge, Chris? 
On the beach, you will find three canoes, one for each team. Your challenge is to paddle your canoe while wearing handcuffs <laughs> all the way to Pony Island. Once there, you will open a package that is waiting for you. Go! Yes! Nah, I'm riding in front, sweetheart. No arguments. Don't you pull that tough guy stuff with me, sweetheart. Why don't you just let little Ashana sit in the front so I can steer? <laughs> little? Are you kidding me? You're... Oh, no, 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 no. You do not want to finish that sentence. Push it, big boy, like it's a big old truck full of donuts. This one time, we had this massive pool party, and my buddy Jay and I decided to take our buddy's lawn and replant it in the school foyer. I don't care. No, no, but it was, like, so awesome. <sighs> we put a cup and flag on it and actually putted a few rounds before getting caught. The principal gave us the longest detention in school history. Will you please shut up? Whoa. Harshness? Oh, I know. I'm the harsh, weird, scary goth girl who's being all mean and snappish as usual. Chill. I didn't say that. Come on, paddle. I'm doing all the work here, and I know my half of the canoe isn't the heavier half. Oh! You're about to get my paddle somewhere you don't want it to be. Well, I'm about to get up in your face, and if I do, you are not gonna like it. Oh, yeah? I don't think you will. I think you talk a big game, but underneath, you're nothing but a big green puff. Says who? I've got eyes. You've got a bad for Courtney. And don't you even try to deny it. Oh, that's all you got? Big deal. She's hot. She told me about Bunny. Oh, man. You couldn't let DJ think his little fluffy bunny abandoned him. Okay, fine. My dog Petey ran away on me when I was six, and I didn't want DJ to have to go through the same thing, okay? I knew it. I knew underneath all that crusty shell there was a big heart. Yeah, well, just don't go spraying it around, okay? You gonna paddle this thing in? Secret safe with me? Ever since I was little, I've always felt like no one really listens to what I have to say. I'm a person who feels things deeply. Owen, no offense, but I really don't care. There! On the shore! I see them! Hurry up! Guy's got his limits. Your mine's about 300. Wow. <laughs> Those two are like milk and grape juice, eh? Totally curdling each other. Dad, this is a challenge. If you. That's more like it. Oh, wow. Scope all the beauteousness here. Here, wait. Hang on. Are we lost? There is no beach on this map. Nah, I remembered it from our last trip. Isn't Mother Nature Julio? What? That'll be totally perfecto for your Wawanaqua scrapbook. <gasps> scrapbook? Why will you not take this seriously? What's going on with you? Are you okay? Look, you don't have to pretend to be friends with me, okay? I'm fine, so just leave me alone. I wasn't pretending. I, I really like you. Right. And if we went to the same high school, you'd probably invite me to all your wild parties, too. I totally would. But I didn't think you'd want to go. Why not? I'm not cool enough? No, you just seem like, I don't know, it's not your thing, you know? You probably think parties were pretty stupid anyway. Well, I wouldn't know. I've never been to one. Oh, snap. You've never been to a party? No, OK? Sometimes I wish I had been. That for one day I could be one of those happy, vapid girls who gets along with everyone and is all excited to eat massive amounts of sugar and do karaoke and cheerleading and ponytails. I just don't think it's in my DNA. Partying isn't in your DNA. It's a state of mind. Yeah? 
When we get off this island, you are coming to an awesome party, Shay Moi. Sweet. Yeah, baby. You're getting the lingo down already. Woo! Uh, I'm not sure I'm ready for the woohoos yet. Woo? <laughs> we'll work on it. Get him, fella! Oh. Easy, ah. bad boy. Easy now. Ah. 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 Oh, we're in. Just a few more steps. Ha <gasps> <gasps> ha! <gasps> you can take him, Lashona. You crazy back there? Disaster! There's no way they haven't already beaten us. No, wait! I don't think anyone else has made it here yet. We can still win this! <gasps> that was amazing. Woohoo! Now that's what I call a woohoo! I'm some mindless party animal just because I let loose a Jeff. That guy just brings out the party in people. And that's a point for the Gwen and Jeff dream team. Yes, that's my partner. High five. So, an awesome day, huh? Moldy food fights, carnivorous beavers. But it's time for someone to win this thing. A point each for everyone but Lashana and Duncan, who could still pull a stopper. Today's final challenge. Eva. Ew! Two Evas. That is upsetting. The totem pole of shame and humiliation. Your task? Assemble the heads in the order in which your comrades were voted out. Unless you want the whip key. Time for heads to roll. <laughs> nice guy, Justin. Look, even this wood carving of him is smoking hot. <gasps> I mean, it's a good carving. His features are so chiseled. <gasps> I mean, someone chiseled them really well. <laughs> well, look who I found, Lindsay and Beth. Too bad neither of them made it to the final six. What a shocker. These pieces of wood have about as much brain power as those two traitors combined. OK, I think Katie was voted off fifth. No, it was Sadie. Wasn't it Katie? I can never remember. Katie was the one who was afraid of bad haircuts. Was well, that Sadie? Ah! Let's see what our most argumentative team's up to. What's this? Don't! <laughs> it's not funny, man. Most guys kiss girls they like. Dude carves her head. <laughs> Mr. Tough ain't so tough. Ah! Who said we gotta be tough all the time, huh? Ugh, Little Miss Crazy. They should have made her wear a helmet. We're not there yet. Can you believe she's roaming the streets wild? We stop talking about this. Seriously, she's a danger to sane people everywhere. That's it! <gasps> Where's the whip key? Stop! Trent next, right? Uh, uh, hey. We have a winner! The Dunka and Shawanin. Take it! That means anybody can get voted off tonight. We had fun, didn't we? Mama always said, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. In which case, Heather would say nothing ever. She is the meanest, the nastiest, the biggest cold-hearted meanie in all of Kalamazoo! No offense. Oh, none taken. I sort of respect you for it. Never do it again. Oh. You've all cast your votes and made your decision. The camper who does not receive a marshmallow tonight must immediately return to the dock of shame to catch the boat of losers. That means you are out of the contest and you can't come back ever. The first marshmallow goes to Lashana. Next, Duncan. Four campers are left, but only three marshmallows. The next marshmallow goes to Heather Owen. Yep, that's one surefire way to wipe the smile off a camper's face.
Show them a plate with exactly one marshmallow on it. I ain't gonna front. I knew that if it came down to a popularity contest, I was gonna lose big time. I had to vote off Heather. You made a big mistake a few weeks ago, and I have a long memory. I'd have to be an idiot to vote off anyone else at this point. No hard feelings. It's just strategy. I'm left with just one marshmallow for the night. And either Gwen or Jeff is about to go home. It's cool. I had a good time. What are you doing? You're wrecking it! The last marshmallow of the night goes to... Gwen. Jeff. Time for you to go, bro. What? Are you guys all crazy? Jeff is the nicest guy in the world. Yeah, bingo, sister. As if Heather could defeat Nice. The power of Nice is huge. And we're not worried about you in that department, Gwen. No sweat, Gwen. Ciao, dudes. Wait, I have something for you. My lens. I went back to Boney Island. I'm sorry. There might be just a little bit of Lake Wawanaqua in it. Makes it a better souvenir, right? Right. Bye, Jeff. And thanks. Wait up! Say cheese! <laughs>